At the young age of 13, Andrew Jackson and his brother Robert, 17, enlisted in a militia. They were messengers and lookouts. Their life was one of constant danger. Jackson witnessed his first battle at Hanging Rock, just south of the Waxhaws. The bravery of the soldiers made a lasting impression on him. On April 10, 1781, a group of Tories, American colonists still loyal to the King of England, descended on the Waxhaws. They attacked the meeting house where Jackson and the other militiamen had gathered, setting it ablaze. Jackson, his brother and cousin narrowly escaped, hiding next to a creek where they would spend the night. The next morning, he and his brother were on the run, hiding in one of their relatives' homes when the British captured them. A British commander set his sights on the two boys. He ordered Jackson to clean his boots. I responded, Sir, I'm a prisoner of war and claim to be treated as such. The officer raised and swung his sword at Jackson, who reached up to block the blow. It left a scar he would carry for the rest of his days. The officer then turned to Jackson's brother. He dealt Robert a blow that knocked him to the floor and opened a wound on his head. It was a harbinger of things to come, as the suffering in the Jackson family would only get worse. The boys were forced to march 50 miles to a prison in Camden. Jackson would later recall, No attention whatever was paid to the wounds or to the comfort of the prisoners, and the smallpox having broken out among them, many fell victim to it. Jackson's brother, Robert, fell gravely ill due to his untreated sword wound. The boys were returned to their mother's care in a prisoner exchange. The ill Robert rode horseback while Andrew trudged barefoot the 50 miles back to the Waxhaws. As if they had not endured enough, the weather too turned bad. Jackson describes it. The fury of a violent storm of rain to which we were exposed for several hours before we reached the end of our journey caused the smallpox to strike in, and consequently the next day I was dangerously ill. Despite Elizabeth's best efforts, the smallpox combined with the untreated wounds were too much for Robert. He soon died. Once Andrew had regained his health, Elizabeth left for Charleston, where her nephews were being held prisoner. She would never return. Elizabeth died from ship's fever and was buried in an unmarked grave. Fourteen years of age, a seasoned soldier and now an orphan, Jackson searched for his mother's resting place for the remainder of his life. To this day, it has never been found. The experiences of young Andrew Jackson would remain with him as he grew. Touched by a loving mother and the close-knit Waxhaws community, torn by the bloodshed of the American Revolution, both the good and the bad defined the seventh president of the United States. A complex character both revered and hated. A president who would define an era of American history.